welcome back to another Sunday Munchie. So today I am going to be making a vegan meal and a vegan drink. So we are going to be cooking some creamy squash soup. Yes, I brought the squash for props purposes. And also we are going to be making some coconut shake. So let's get started. Of course you'll be needing some squash, string onions, garlic, white onion, red bell pepper for garnish, and a balungai plant. Now this is a very healthy addition to this meal just because this has a lot of health benefits. So I'm adding this in. And if you don't have this, you can totally skip this part. And of course some sweet basil and some fresh organic coconut milk. And we are going to cook everything using olive oil. So Luis is going to slice the squash, get rid of the seeds, remove the skin and slice it into little chunks just like that. I'm going to pick the leaves of the malungai and set it aside for a while. So here is everything. So that's about 4 cups of squash and then 1 cup of coconut milk, 1 whole chopped onions, 4 cloves of minced garlic, 2 sticks of string onion sliced in that way and 1 whole red bell pepper that is minced and one teaspoon of salt. Now in a pan I will put in some olive oil in there and then add in the garlic and after that I'll add in the onions and of course and then the squash and then saute that and let it cook for a while and after that I will add in one cup of water and then add in one teaspoon of salt. Close the lid and let it cook for about 10 minutes until the squash softens. Now you just have to keep checking back if it's done. So in here it's starting to soften and now I'm going to sort of like pierce through them. I'm just basically attacking the squash and mashing it till it looks like that. You can let it cook longer if you want to but I already like the texture so I'm good with that. And then I'll start adding the malungai leaves and then mix them all together. And then I will turn off the heat and add in your coconut milk. Now it's important that you turn off the heat before adding your coconut milk because it will curdle if you don't. You can also add in more coconut milk if you want this to be more runny. And in here all I'm going to do is add in the spring onions. I chopped up some basil leaves so I'll include that there too. And I find that basil really adds more flavor to the soup and it also gives this savory aromatic smell. And of course I'll add in more basil leaves for garnishing and I'll also add in some minced bell pepper. And just a little mini side dish, I chopped up some tomatoes and then I added in some leftover bell peppers and added a bit of salt in that and then that's it. And then I'll add it to the side and here it is. So for the coconut shake, I will be using that coconut fruit and we just scrape out the meat of the coconut and that's it and set that aside. And this is optional but if you want this drink to be more sweet then add in some stevia. So in a blender I'm going to filter out the coconut water and then I'll add in the coconut meat and then I'll add in some stevia and then blend it. Now once that's done, go ahead and transfer that into any container that you have. And you can also add in some ice if you want to. And that is it. This coconut shake is actually one of my favorite drink coolers to have, especially in this crazy hot summer season here in my country. And this is pretty healthy as well. And all you have to do is add in some straw and you are ready to serve. And you can also eat this whole meal with rice. Because what is a meal without rice, right? So yeah. So I hope you guys liked this video and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Also let me know in the comments down below if you want more healthy foods or if you want more vegan recipes. Also please do share this video if you like it and I will see you on my next video. Bye! Thumbs up for the squash. Woo!